The new parking decks are supposed to help the Blue Line extension passengers, but instead they remain mostly empty. Katz is charging people for University City decks, even though they don't charge for parking anywhere else. Today, Eyewitness News reporter Mark Barber is pushing Katz about why they are charging only these decks and where that money is going. Katz built these new parking decks so drivers would have a place to park and then hop right onto the light rail. Well, look at this. These parking lots are hardly being used. In fact, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of spaces that are practically empty. I never parked there because it cost too much money. Barry Luke is a landscaper. He rides a bus to his light rail stop because he can't afford the $10 parking fee. Workers like Isaiah McBridge get dropped off at the station by friends just to avoid the fee. I got fast food job. So it's just like we, we pay our own way to get to work. We find our own way home. Katz doesn't charge for parking anywhere else on the blue line, but it does charge for the two decks on University City Boulevard and JW Clay Boulevard because it worries UNC Charlotte students will take over the decks. Today, I discovered there are more than 2,300 spaces between the two garages, but only 684 spaces, or 30% of them, are actually being used. Now check this out. This is the one and only free parking deck along the Blue Line extension. It's here in Noda, but only one out of six parking spaces are even being used here. So why is that? Well, if you take a look in this direction, up there on the bridge, you will see that it is shut down for construction. This deck is tough for drivers to access because of all of the road work. Since struggling families want to use the garages in University City but can't pay the parking fees, Channel 9 asked Katz if it would consider making the garages free. Katz said no. I would appreciate more lunch money. Drivers say if Katz is going to keep taking their money, they want to know how that money is going to be spent. I asked Katz and they told me all of the money that they make off drivers in this deck will go to help cover their operating expenses. Reporting here in University City, Mark Barber, Channel 9 at Witness News. Now there is a way to use those two decks for free, we've learned, but you have to pay for a daily, weekly, or monthly pass on the light rail to do that. Many of the people that Mark talked to today buy the cheaper round-trip tickets.